The 1982 FIFA World Cup was the 12th FIFA World Cup, played in Spain between 13 June and the 11th of July 1982. The tournament was won by Italy, who defeated West Germany 3–1 in the final match, held in the Spanish capital of Madrid. It was Italy's third World Cup win, but their first since 1938. The defending champions, Argentina, were eliminated in the second group round. Algeria, Cameroon, Honduras, Kuwait and New Zealand made their first appearances in the finals. The tournament featured the first penalty shootout in World Cup competition. This was the last World Cup to feature two round of group stages. It was also the third time 1934 and 1966 that all four semi-finalists were European. In the first round of Group 3, Hungary defeated El Salvador 10–1, equaling the largest margin of victory recorded in the finals Hungary over South Korea 9–0 in 1954, and Yugoslavia over Zaire 9–0 in 1974. <laughs> Host selection Spain was chosen as the host nation by FIFA in London, England on 6 July 1966. Hosting rights for the 1974 and 1978 tournaments were awarded at the same time. West Germany agreed a deal with Spain by which Spain would support West Germany for the 1974 tournament, and in return West Germany would allow Spain to bid for the 1982 World Cup unopposed. <laughs> Qualification For the first time, the World Cup Finals expanded from 16 to 24 teams. This allowed more teams to participate, especially from Africa and Asia. Teams absent from the finals were 1974 and 1978 runners-up Netherlands eliminated by Belgium and France, Mexico eliminated by Honduras and El Salvador, and the three times 1970s participants Sweden eliminated by Scotland and Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland qualified for the first time since 1958. Belgium, Czechoslovakia, El Salvador, England, and the Soviet Union were back in the finals after a 12-year absence. England had its first successful World Cup qualifying campaign in 20 years. The English team had qualified automatically as hosts in 1966 and as defending champions in 1970, then had missed the 1974 and 1978 tournaments. Yugoslavia and Chile were also back after having missed the 1978 tournament. Algeria, Cameroon, Honduras, Kuwait, and New Zealand all participated in the World Cup for the first time. As of 2018, this was the last time that El Salvador and Kuwait qualified for a FIFA World Cup finals, as well as the last time that Mexico and South Korea failed to qualify. There was some consideration given as to whether England, Northern Ireland, and Scotland should withdraw from the tournament because of the Falklands War between Argentina and the United Kingdom. A directive issued by the British Sports Minister Neil Macfarlane in April, at the start of the conflict, suggested that there should be no contact between British representative teams and Argentina. This directive was not rescinded until August, following the end of hostilities. McFarlane reported to Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher that some players and officials were uneasy about participating because of the casualties suffered by British forces. 
FIFA advised the British government that there was no prospect that Argentina the defending champions would be asked to withdraw. It also became apparent that no other countries would withdraw from the tournament. It was decided to allow the British national teams to participate so that Argentina could not use their absence for propaganda purposes, reversing the intended effect of applying political pressure onto Argentina. <laughs> List of qualified teams The following 24 teams qualified for the final tournament. Topic Summary Topic Format The first round was a round-robin group stage containing six groups of four teams each. Two points were awarded for a win and one for a draw, with goal difference used to separate teams equal on points. The top two teams in each group advanced. In the second round, the twelve remaining teams were split into four groups of three teams each, with the winner of each group progressing to the knockout semi-final stage. The composition of the groups in the second round was predetermined before the start of the tournament. In the aggregate, Groups A and B were to include one team from each of Groups 1 through 6, and Groups C and D included the remaining six teams. The winners of Groups 1 and 3 were in Group A whilst the runners-up were in Group C. The winners of Groups 2 and 4 were in Group B whilst the runners-up were in Group D. The winner of Group 5 was in Group D whilst the runner-up was in Group B. The winner of Group 6 was in Group C whilst the runner-up was in Group A. Thus, Group A mirrored Group C, and Group B mirrored Group D with the winners and runners-up from the first round being placed into opposite groups in the second round. The second round groups that mirrored each other based on the first round groupings faced off against each other in the semi-finals. Thus, the Group A winner played the Group C winner, and the Group B winner player the Group D winner. This meant that if two teams which played in the same first round group both emerged from the second round, they would meet for the second time of the tournament in a semi-final match. It also guaranteed that the final match would feature two teams that had not previously played each other in the tournament. As it turned out, Italy and Poland who were both in Group 1 in the first round, each won their second round groups and played each other in a semi-final match. First round In Group 1, newcomers Cameroon held both Poland and Italy to draws, and were denied a place in the next round on the basis of having scored fewer goals than Italy the sides had an equal goal difference. Poland and Italy qualified over Cameroon and Peru. Italian journalists and Tifosi criticized their team for their uninspired performances that managed three draws. The squad was reeling from the recent Serie A scandal, where national players were suspended for match fixing and illegal betting. Group 2 saw one of the great World Cup upsets on the first day with the 2 1 victory of Algeria over reigning European champions West Germany. In the final match in the group, West Germany met Austria in a match later dubbed as the Disgrace of Gijon. Algeria had already played their final group game the day before, and West Germany and Austria knew that a West German win by one or two goals would qualify them both, while a larger German victory would qualify Algeria over Austria, and a draw or an Austrian win would eliminate the Germans. After 10 minutes of all-out attack, West Germany scored through a goal by Horst Rubesch. 
After the goal was scored, the two teams kicked the ball around aimlessly for the rest of the match. Chants of, Fuera, Fuera, out, out, were screamed by the Spanish crowd, while angry Algerian supporters waved banknotes at the players. This performance was widely deplored, even by the German and Austrian fans. One German fan was so upset by his team's display that he burned his German flag in disgust. Algeria protested to FIFA, who ruled that the result be allowed to stand. FIFA introduced a revised qualification system at subsequent World Cups in which the final two games in each group were played simultaneously. Group 3, where the opening ceremony and first match of the tournament took place, saw Belgium beat defending champions Argentina 1-0. The Camp Nou Stadium was the home of Barcelona, and many fans had wanted to see the club's new signing, Argentinian star Diego Maradona, who did not perform to expectations. Both Belgium and Argentina ultimately advanced at the expense of Hungary and El Salvador despite Hungary's 10–1 win over the Central American nation which, with a total of 11 goals, is the second highest scoreline in a World Cup game equal with Brazil's 6–5 victory over Poland in the 1938 tournament and Hungary's 8–3 victory over West Germany in the 1954 tournament. Group 4 opened with England midfielder Brian Robson's goal against France after only 27 seconds of play. England won 3–1 and qualified along with France over Czechoslovakia and Kuwait, though the tiny Gulf Emirate held Czechoslovakia to a 1–1 draw. In the game between Kuwait and France, with France leading 3–1, France midfielder Alain Jerez scored a goal vehemently contested by the Kuwait team, who had stopped play after hearing a piercing whistle from the stands, which they thought had come from Soviet referee Miroslav Stupar. Play had not yet resumed when Sheikh Farhad al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, brother of the then Kuwaiti Emir and president of the Kuwait football. Association, rushed onto the pitch to remonstrate with the referee. Stupar reversed his initial decision and disallowed the goal to the fury of the French. Maxime Bossis scored another valid goal a few minutes later and France won 4–1. In Group 5, Honduras held host Spain to a 1–1 draw. Northern Ireland won the group outright, eliminating Yugoslavia and beating hosts Spain 1–0. Northern Ireland had to play the majority of the second half with ten men after Mal Donaghy was dismissed. Spain scraped by thanks to a controversial penalty in the 2–1 victory over Yugoslavia. At 17 years and 41 days, Northern Ireland forward Norman Whiteside was the youngest player to appear in a World Cup match. Brazil were in Group 6. With Zico, Socrates, Falcao, Ada, and others, they boasted an offensive firepower that promised a return to the glory days of 1970. They beat the USSR 2–1 thanks to a 20-metre Ada goal two minutes from time, then Scotland and New Zealand with four goals each. The Soviets took the group's other qualifying berth on goal difference at the expense of the Scots. <laughs> Second round Poland opened Group A with a 3–0 defeat of Belgium thanks to a Zbigniew Boniek hat-trick. The Soviet Union prevailed 1–0 in the next match over Belgium. The Poles edged out the USSR for the semi-final spot on the final day on goal difference thanks to a 0–0 draw in a politically charged match, as Poland's then communist government had imposed a martial law a few months earlier to quash internal dissent. 
In Group B, a match between England and West Germany ended in a goalless draw. West Germany put the pressure on England in the second match by beating Spain 2–1. The home side drew 0–0 against England, denying Ron Greenwood's team a semi-final place and putting England in the same position as Cameroon, being eliminated without losing a game. In Group C, with Brazil, Argentina and Italy, in the opener, Italy prevailed 2–1 over Diego Maradona and Mario Kempes's side after a game in which Italian defenders Gaetano Scyria and Claudio Gentile proved themselves equal to the task of stopping the Argentinian attack. Argentina now needed a win over Brazil on the second day, but lost 3–1. Argentina only scoring in the last minute. Diego Maradona kicked Brazilian player João Batista in the groin and was sent off in the 85th minute. The match between Brazil and Italy pitted Brazil's attack against Italy's defence, with the majority of the game played around the Italian area, and with the Italian midfielders and defenders returning the repeated set volleys of Brazilian shooters such as Zico, Socrates and Falcao. Italian centre-back Gentile was assigned to mark Brazilian striker Zico, earning a yellow card and a suspension for the semi-final. Paolo Rossi opened the scoring when he headed in Antonio Cabrini's cross with just five minutes played. Socrates equalized for Brazil seven minutes later. In the 25th minute Rossi stepped past Junior, intercepted a pass from Cerezo across the Brazilian's goal, and drilled the shot home. The Brazilians threw everything in search of another equalizer, while Italy defended bravely. On 68 minutes, Falcao collected a pass from Junior and as Cerezo's dummy run distracted three defenders, fired home from 20 yards out. Now Italy had gained the lead twice thanks to Rossi's goals, and Brazil had come back twice. At 2 2, Brazil would have been through on goal difference, but in the 74th minute, a poor clearance from an Italian corner kick went back to the Brazilian six yard line where Rossi and Francesco Graziani were waiting. Both aimed at the same shot, Rossi connecting to get a hat trick and sending Italy into the lead for good. In the 86th minute Giancarlo Antonioni scored an apparent fourth goal for Italy, but it was wrongly disallowed for offside. In the dying moments Dino Zoff made a miraculous save to deny Oscar a goal, ensuring that Italy advanced to the semi-final. In the last group, Group D, France dispatched Austria 1–0 with a free-kick goal by Bernard Genghini, and then defeated Northern Ireland 4–1 to reach their first semi-final since 1958. Topic: Semi-finals, third place match, and final. In a rematch of the encounter in the first round, Italy beat Poland in the first semi-final through two goals from Paolo Rossi. In the game between France and West Germany, the Germans opened the scoring through a Pierre Litbarski strike in the 17th minute, and the French equalised nine minutes later with a Michel Platini penalty. In the second half a long through ball sent French defender Patrick Battiston racing clear towards the German goal. With both Battiston and the lone German defender trying to be the first to reach the ball, Battiston flicked it past German keeper Harold Schumacher from the edge of the German penalty area and Schumacher reacted by jumping up to block. Schumacher didn't seem to go for the ball, however, and clattered straight into the oncoming Battiston, which left the French player unconscious and knocked two of his teeth out. Schumacher's action has been described as, "...one of history's most shocking fouls". 
The ball went just wide of the post and Dutch referee Charles Corver deemed Schumacher's tackle on Batterston not to be a foul and awarded a goal kick. Play was interrupted for several minutes while Batterston, still unconscious and with a broken jaw, was carried off the field on a stretcher. After French defender Manuel Amoros had sent a 25-metre drive crashing onto the West German crossbar in the final minute, the match went into extra time. On 92 minutes, France's sweeper Marius Trezor fired a swerving volley under Schumacher's crossbar from 10 metres out to make it 2–1. Six minutes later, an unmarked Alain Jaurès drove in an 18-metre shot off the inside of the right post to finish off a counter-attack and put France up 3–1. But West Germany would not give up. In the 102nd minute a counterattack culminated in a cross that recent substitute Karl-Heinz Rummenigge turned in at the near post from a difficult angle with the outside of his foot, reducing France's lead to 3–2. Then in the 108th minute Germany took a short corner and after France failed to clear, the ball was played by Germany to Litbarski whose cross to Horst Rubesch was headed back to the centre towards Klaus Fischer, who was unmarked but with his back to goal. Fischer in turn volleyed the ball past French keeper Jean-Luc Ettori with a bicycle kick, levelling the scores at 3–3. The match went to penalties, with France and West Germany participating in the first penalty shootout at a World Cup finals. Jerez, Manfred Kaltz, Manuel Amoros, Paul Breitner and Dominique Rocheteau all converted penalties until Uli Stielike was stopped by Ettori, giving France the advantage. But then Schumacher stepped forward, lifted the tearful Stielike from the ground, and saved Didier Six's shot. With Germany handed the lifeline they needed Litbarski converted his penalty, followed by Platini for France, and then Rummenigge for Germany as the tension mounted. France defender Maxime Bossis then had his kick parried by Schumacher who anticipated it, and Rubesch stepped up to score and send Germany to the World Cup final yet again with a victory on penalties, 5–4. In the third-place match, Poland edged the French side 3–2 which matched Poland's best performance at a World Cup, previously achieved in 1974. France would go on to win the European Championship two years later. In the final, Antonio Cabrini fired a penalty wide of goal in the first half. In the second half, Paolo Rossi scored first for the third straight game by heading home Gentile's bouncing cross at close range. Exploiting the situation, Italy scored twice more on quick counter-strikes, all the while capitalizing on their defense to hold the Germans. With Gentile and Gaetano Scyria holding the center, the Italian strikers were free to counter-punch the weakened German defense. Marco Tardelli's shot from the edge of the area beat Schumacher first, and Alessandro Altabelli, the substitute for injured striker Francesco Graziani, made it 3–0 at the end of a solo sprint down the right side by the standout winger Bruno Conti. Italy's lead appeared secure, encouraging Italian president Sandro Patini to wag his finger at the cameras in a playful not going to catch us now." gesture. In the 83rd minute, Paul Breitner scored for West Germany, but it was only a consolation goal as Italy won 3–1 to claim their first World Cup title in 44 years, and their third in total. Records <inaudible> 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 
Italy became the first team to advance from the first round without winning a game, drawing all three, while Cameroon were eliminated in the same way by virtue of having only one goal scored against Italy's two, and also the only World Cup winner to draw or lose three matches at the finals. By winning, Italy equaled Brazil's record of winning the World Cup three times. Italy's total of 12 goals scored in seven matches set a new low for average goals scored per game by a World Cup winning side subsequently exceeded by Spain in 2010, while Italy's aggregate goal difference of plus six for the tournament remains a record low for a champion, equaled by Spain. Italy's 40-year-old captain goalkeeper Dino Zoff became the oldest player to win the World Cup. This was the first World Cup in which teams from all six continental confederations participated in the finals, something that did not happen again until 2006. Venues <inaudible> 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 17 stadiums in 14 cities hosted the tournament, a record that stood until the 2002 tournament, which was played 20 stadiums in two countries. The most used venue was FC Barcelona's Camp Nou Stadium, which hosted five matches, including a semi final. It was the largest stadium used for this tournament. With Sarria Stadium also hosting three matches, Barcelona was the Spanish city with the most matches in España 1982 with eight, Madrid, the nation's capital, followed with seven. This particular World Cup was organized in such a way that all of the matches of each of the six groups were assigned stadiums in cities near to each other, in order to reduce the stress of travel on the players and fans. For example, Group 1 matches were played in Vigo and A Coruna, Group 2 in Gijón and Oviedo, Group 3 in Elche and Alicante except for the first match, which was the opening match of the tournament, which was played at the Camp Nou, Group 4 in Bilbao and Valladolid, Group 5 which included hosts Spain in Valencia and Zaragoza, and Group 6 in Seville and Malaga of the three first-round matches in Seville, the first match between Brazil and the Soviet Union was played in the Pete Juan Stadium, and the other two were played in the Villamarine Stadium. When the tournament went into the round robin second round matches, all the aforementioned cities, excluding Barcelona, Alicante, and Seville, did not host any more matches in Espana 1982. Both the Santiago Bernabéu and Vicente Calderón stadiums in Madrid and the Sarria Stadium in Barcelona were used for the first time for this tournament for the second round matches. Madrid and Barcelona hosted the four second round group matches. Barcelona hosted groups A and C, Camp Nou hosted all three of group A's matches, and Sarria did the same with group C's matches, and Madrid hosted groups B and D. Real Madrid's Bernabeu Stadium hosted all three of group B's matches, and Atletico Madrid's Calderón Stadium did the same with the group D matches. The two semi-final matches were held at Camp Nou and the Pete Juan Stadium in Seville, the third largest stadium used for the tournament one of only two Espana 1982 matches it hosted, the third place match was held in Alicante and the final was held at the Bernabeu, the second largest stadium used for this tournament. Topic Match Officials Topic Squads For a list of all squads that appeared in the final tournament, see nineteen eighty two FIFA World Cup squads. Topic Groups
Topic: <laughs> Seeding. The 24 qualifiers were divided into four groupings which formed the basis of the draw for the group stage. FIFA announced the six seeded teams on the day of the draw and allocated them in advance to the six groups, as had become standard, the host nation and the reigning champions were among the seeds. The seeded teams would play all their group matches at the same venue with the exception of World Cup holders Argentina who would play in the opening game scheduled for the Camp Nou, the largest of the venues. The remaining 18 teams were split into three pots based on FIFA's assessment of the team's strength, but also taking in account geographic considerations. The seedings and group venues for those teams were tentatively agreed at an informal meeting in December 1981 but not officially confirmed until the day of the draw. FIFA executive Hermann Neuberger told the press that the seeding of England had been challenged by other nations but they were to be seeded as, "...the Spanish want England to play in Bilbao for security reasons". <laughs> <laughs> Final draw On 16 January 1982 the draw was conducted at the Palacio de Congresos in Madrid, where the teams were drawn out from the three pots to be placed with the seeded teams in their predetermined groups. Firstly a draw was made to decide the order in which the three drums containing pots A, B and C would be emptied. The teams were then drawn one by one and entered in the groups in that order. A number was then drawn to determine the team's position in the group and hence the fixtures. The only stipulation of the draw was that no group could feature two South American teams. As a result, Pot B, which contained two South American teams, was initially drawn containing only the four Europeans, which were then to be immediately allocated to Groups 3 and 6 which contained the two South American seeds Argentina and Brazil. Once these two groups had been filled with the entrants from Pot B, then Chile and Peru would be added to the pot and the draw continue as normal. In the event, FIFA executives Sepp Blatter and Hermann Neuberger conducting the draw initially forgot this stipulation and immediately placed the first team drawn from this pot Belgium into Group 1, rather than Group 3 before then placing the second team drawn out Scotland into Group 3. They then had to correct this by moving Belgium to Group 3 and Scotland into Group 6. The ceremony suffered further embarrassment when one of the revolving drums containing the teams broke down. Topic: Results. All times are Central European Summer Time (UTC+2). Topic: First round The group winners and runners-up advanced to the second round. Teams were ranked on the following criteria 1. Greater number of points in all group matches 2. Goal difference in all group matches 3. Greater number of goals scored in all group matches 4. Drawing of lots <laughs> Group 1 <laughs> <laughs> Group 2 <laughs> <laughs> Group 3 Topic Group Four Topic 
Group 5 Topic Group 6 Topic Second Round The second round of matches consisted of four three-way round-robin groups, each confined to one stadium in one of Spain's two largest cities, two in Madrid, and two in Barcelona. The winners of each one of these groups would progress to the semi-finals. Teams were ranked on the following criteria 1. Greater number of points in all group matches 2. Goal difference in all group matches 3. Greater number of goals scored in all group matches 4. Whether the team finished first or second in the first round group 5. Drawing of lots although the fixtures were provisionally determined in advance the teams competing in each fixture depended on the result of the opening match in each group should a team be defeated in the opening game of the group that team would then have to play in the second fixture against the team not participating in the opening group game the winner of the opening game would by contrast be rewarded by not needing to play again until the final fixture of the group and therefore gained extra recovery time. If the opening game was a draw, the predetermined order of games would proceed as planned. These regulations helped ensure that the final group games were of importance as no team could already have progressed to the semi finals by the end of the second fixtures. The 43,000 capacity Sarria Stadium in Barcelona, used for the Group C round robin matches between Italy, Argentina, and Brazil, was, unlike any of the other matches except one in the other groups, severely overcrowded for all three matches. The venue was then heavily criticized for its lack of space and inability to handle such rampant crowds. Although no one had foreseen such crowds at all, the Group A matches held at the nearby and much larger 99,500 capacity Camp Nou Stadium never went past 65,000 and hosted all European teams. It was anticipated there would be larger crowds for the Camp Nou hosted second round round matches between Belgium, the Soviet Union and Poland. <laughs> Group A <laughs> Group B <laughs> Group C Topic Group D Topic Knockout Stage Topic Semi Finals Topic Third place match. Topic Final. Topic Statistics. Topic Goal scorers. Paolo Rossi received the Golden Boot for scoring six goals. In total, 146 goals were scored by 100 players, with only one of them credited as own goal. Six goals Paolo Rossi Two goals One goal Own goals Joseph Barmos against England 
Topic: Red Cards. Américo Gallego Diego Maradona Ladislav Vizek Gilberto Yearwood Mal Donaghy Awards Source FIFA retrospective ranking In 1986, FIFA published a report that ranked all teams in each World Cup up to and including 1986, based on progress in the competition, overall results and quality of the opposition. The rankings for the 1982 tournament were as follows. Topic Symbols Topic Mascot The official mascot of this World Cup was Naranjito, an anthropomorphized orange, a typical fruit in Spain, wearing the kit of the host's national team. Its name comes from naranja, the Spanish word for orange, and the diminutive suffix, ito". The official poster was designed by Joan Miro. Football in Action Football en Axion was the name of an educational animated series first aired in 1982 on public broadcaster RTVE. Chapters had a duration of 20 minutes and the main character was Naranjito. The series lasted for 26 episodes and the theme was football, adventures and World Cup of 82. Naranjito was accompanied by other characters, as his girlfriend Clementina, his friend Citronio and Amachi the robot. Topic: Match ball. The match ball for 1982 World Cup, manufactured by Adidas, was the Tango España. 